Hey everybody, this is Alpha Captain Ramius, and today we're going to take a look at an elect tranquil electrical missile run to see what we can learn from it. Now when you start out with one of these abyssal uh, filament sets, you're going to need three for a, for a frigate. Uh, you need to click on the what looks like a gate icon to get in, and now we are in this abyss. Now what you want to make sure when you're fitting your ship, and you'll notice that this one happens to be an armor tank, you're going to want your fit to plug the hole for the type of abyssal. This is electrical, which means it's going to do EM damage. You want to deal EM damage. And so here you'll see that I have auto cannons. What I really should have fit was artillery rather than auto cannons. Uh, but auto cannons dealing EM damage is kind of what you want. Now, the trick for an Atron, it's a small ship, it's a small frigate, it doesn't have a lot of weapons. So, you're not going to be dealing a huge amount of damage. Unless you've got artillery, and then you can deal more. But that's the challenge. We're doing this in a very early starter ship for a very early character with very few skills, which is what we're looking at. This is an alpha clone with very early alpha clone skills. And I would really recommend you get probably 30 days worth of training. Make sure that make sure that your uh, your weapon skills are up as high as you can get them during your first 30 days. Uh, I would say get yourself a ship that has drones and you want at least two drones so a Tristan for a Galente works great a Thrasher for a Mimitar would be awesome and you know for the Caldari I'm saying use a missile ship and for the Amar you're gonna want to get you know probably into a destroyer before you really hop into an abyss. Now, most of the time, it's going to be an okay experience. But when I was running electrical abysses, there was one particular NPC that just tanked all of the damage that I threw at it. I couldn't, couldn't damage it enough. And you might run into that. And if you do, well, that's the way it goes. But for this particular run, it was an okay run. You know, I'm doing okay damage. Um, I'm not using a webifier, and I would highly recommend a webifier. Now, in a later run, I took out that, uh, that multi-spectral, or that's actually an EM uh, shield hole plugger. I took that out and I put in a webby, which is going to help your gun tracking. It's going to help you do more damage. And that's what I would recommend. A web of fire is your best friend when you're running abyss. I would say web of fire more than trying to plug an EM hole. I mean, you can deal with a little bit of EM damage, but if you're dealing more damage, that's really what you want. And so here at the end of the first room, you pick up the uh, you pick up the cash, you get your money, and you go into the next room. Now this whole run, yeah, it took about 15 minutes. Uh, I've compressed the, the time here a bit, but it took about 15 minutes, which is not bad. Ideally, when you get your skills up, you're gonna wanna be able to run a Tranquil in under five minutes. And if you're not able to do it in under five minutes, then you really need to be taking a look at what you're doing and why. And on this particular run, I got pretty lucky with the NPCs. So, you know, not a big deal. It was a pretty lucky run, all in all. And you gotta be prepared for losing your ship, losing your clone, and losing any implants. And if you're gonna run with implants, well, you roll the dice. But there are no safe places, there's no safe gameplay in EVE Online. 
All you got in EVE Online is the specter of death and destruction, which you're either going to deal it or it's going to get dealt to you. And that's just the way it is. And the people who like the game actually like that aspect. So here we are taking down our second NPC, trying to clear our second room, and dealing pretty good damage. We took down its shields. This happens to be a Lancer. And, you know, my armor tank is working. Should have had a web of fire, would have helped a lot. Um, the sensor boost you can see there, really not necessary. That, that didn't help at all. Now the kinds of things that you want to be concerned about in electrical is you don't have to be cap stable when you go in because you're going to get a cap boost. So don't try to make a ship cap stable. You can trade some cap stability for some, some EM damage reduction or for the ability to deal more damage. I would probably favor dealing more damage than damage reduction. But you know, you want to make sure that you can soak up enough damage and you can deal, you know, enough damage. So we're just uh, doing our thing. We're trying to take down this Lancer. I've queued up the cache so I can go shoot it right away. I've all locked onto it and it's ready to go. It's in my target queue. The Lancer's done and now I'm going to target the cache. The other thing that's going to help you when you run these Abyssal sites is you want to learn the, uh, the keystrokes, the shortcuts that are going to help you. You know, whatever you have you get your shortcuts bound to, you're going to want to use them. Because if you're, if you're right clicking things, you're burning time. But that's just the way it goes in, in this game. It's always going to be faster to use shortcuts. So we picked up our loot and we are heading on. And here we are in room number three. So pop into the room, size up the enemies, see what you got. Tranquils are pretty chill for the number of enemies. But like I said, you gotta be prepared for that one enemy type that might soak up all of your damage if you're not doing enough. Uh, and here I got lucky again. These are, these are rogue drones. Typically not a big threat if there aren't that many of them. My armor tank is working. I'm soaking up their damage. And I'm dishing out more than they can tank. Uh, these NPCs really don't do any tanking. So again, sometimes you can get lucky and other times you might not. And so here we are to the second enemy. Taking it down pretty quick. Its shields are about to fall. And just doing my thing. I, at this point I was orbiting. This is not a bad thing to do. You really want to keep your eyes on your transversal. You want to make sure that your transversal is above a thousand. If your transversal is above a thousand, then whatever you're orbiting, assuming you've got good tracking, and you know, Mimitar weapons do really good tracking. Projectiles have great tracking. Um, glinty blasters, not so good. Also keep in mind that glinty blasters really struggle with dealing any kind of damage other than, you know, some thermal and some kinetic. And that's not going to work for an electrical abyss. Got to be able to deal EM damage. So we've cleared this room and now we are heading out. We didn't run out of time. We killed everything. And we're back in safety. So once again, if you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And 
make sure to click that link below to pick up that uh, 1 million skill points. It can help you a lot. And we'll catch you next time.